Hello, it's Susan. And today I am going to do a dip. And it will be a uh, swirl dip like Fiona Art did. I'm going to try it anyways. So I've got a blank canvas. I'm not going to put any paint on the canvas. I'm going to put that aside in a minute. I'm just going to mark my mark my surface here because I'm putting the uh, I'm applying the paint to the this is the silicone mat and then once it dries if I like it once it dries I can just peel it off and I'll have a nice skin so today I have um, some leftover colors I did another pour with they are craft smart And they are multi-surface premium ultra bright metallic colors. This one's amethyst. I've got sapphire and I've got aquamarine. I've got this color here. It's a Windsor blue. So these colors here I added. Um, I was trying a golden self-leveling gel. Mixing that in with my paints to see how that would to see how that would go. Um, the paint, the painting hasn't dried yet, so I don't know how it's going to dry. So it was an, I had some paint left over. I'm going to use it on on this dip. Um, what I used was one part of the self-leveling gel to one part paint, and then water to just to get it whatever consistency I need. So. I've got those colors right here, here, and here. This is the Windsor Blue. The Windsor Blue is also left over, and it's mixed with its one part flow troll to four parts um, paint and a little bit of water. If I decide to put leaves on my flower, I'm, I've got Reflex Green, and I've got uh, br uh, Metallic Thalo Green. I'm going to apply my white paint. My white paint is Artist Loft Flow mixed with uh, mixed with Flow Troll. Actually, this is part house paint as well. It's a mixture of half and half that I used on something else. So I'm just going to use this up. find something to spread it with. Okay, that's that. Okay, I'm gonna pop some air bubbles. I see a few in there right now. silicone in the paint at all. Okay, so Okay. 
So I'm going to spiral the paint around like this. not quite a circle. <laughs> so I'm gonna just I'm just go up here a bit. Next, I'm doing purple for amethyst. This color, aquamarine. I'm going to add some of this Windsor Blue. Um, I'm going to try and bend the cup so I can pour it out. flow out very good. Should it? And a little bit more of this color. Okay. I think that's it. Put some yellow in the middle. <clears throat> well, I'm not going to put it right in the middle. Let's just put it on the outside. And I'm just going to put some leaves on it. Kind of thick.
a little bit of this. And put the canvas on top. Just gonna lightly press down. And I have to, there's not much room in here for my hand, so I'm just gonna try and Quite a bit. Okay. Okay. I'm going to lift up on what I didn't do. This plastic is. This is going to lift up. So, I'll have to figure something out. I'll be right back. Okay. Tipped my pad down. Now, hopefully, it wasn't on there too long. It seems to be running up the sides. I don't think it's going to look like it's supposed to look. Oh, wow. <laughs> Doesn't look like hers, but I love it. Oh, look at that. This. I could probably do another dip on this. It's pretty thick. Why I'm getting all those cells. Let's see if I can get some of the yellow to show. Okay, I'm going to <clears throat> torch it. I have to be off camera here because I can't put it on top of this. Wow. I'll show you a close up. <laughs> 